Good day scoopers. Welcome to our online class, The Science Scoop. Are you ready to scoop science bits for today? Scoop all that you can scoop. If you find this video helpful, you may hit the subscribe button so you can get notified to the latest uploaded lessons. If you have any question about the lesson, you may put it in the comment box below. Let's learn science with fun. This is Science Scoop, your daily science bits. Since this is our first video, let's have a short introduction about science. What is science? Well, science came from a Latin word sire which means to know or study. Science is a systematically organized body of knowledge. It is the study of nature and behavior of natural things and the knowledge that we obtain about them. There are many branches of science. The two major divisions are life science and physical science. In our grade 10 curriculum, we will focus on the four branches of science which are earth science for the first quarter, physics for the second quarter, biology for the third quarter and chemistry for the last quarter. At this point, let's start our first quarter studying earth science. Do you have any idea about earth science? Earth science deals with the earth or with one or more of its parts. The four major branches of Earth science are geology, meteorology, oceanography, and astronomy. Geology deals with the activity and mechanism of the Earth. Meteorology studies about the weather, oceanography focus on the behavior of the ocean and astronomy studies the celestial objects and phenomena. Our first module is about plate tectonics. We aim that after this lesson, you should be able to describe and relate the distribution of active volcanoes, earthquake epicenters, and major mountain belts to plate tectonic theory. What do you need to know? At the end of this lesson, you are expected to do the following. You should describe the lithospheric plates. You should tell what plate boundaries are. You should define earthquake and locate its epicenter. You should discuss what triangulation method is. Does our lesson sound difficult to learn? Do not worry. We will make it as simple as possible. All you need to do is to watch and listen attentively. And if there is anything unclear after our discussion, write your question in the comment box below. Now, let us start our class and scoop the knowledge available for today. You may take down important notes. And to have your self-assessment, click the link in the description box to view and or download the worksheet for this lesson. What are plates? Plates are rigid sections of the Earth's lithosphere that move as a unit. They are also described as segments or pieces of the Earth. The Earth's lithosphere is not divided equally. Some segments are big and other pieces are small. Pacific plate is an example of a big plate and Philippine plate is a small one. Tectonics came from a Latin word tectonicus and from ancient Greek, it's tectonikos which meaning pertains to building. Tectonics is a process that controls the structure and properties of the Earth's crust and its evolution through time. Plate tectonics explains the folding and faulting of the Earth crust. Plate tectonics suggests that the Earth's lithospheric plates keep moving constantly but in a very slow manner. Let's have a short review about the Earth's lithosphere. The Earth has four different layers which are the crust, the mantle, the outer core and the inner core. Lithosphere is the part of the planet Earth measuring the crust down to the uppermost part of the mantle. Since lithosphere covers the whole crust, Lithospheric plates like oceanic plate and continental plate can also be named as oceanic crust and continental crust. So if you read oceanic crust instead of oceanic plate in your reference, do not panic. Both terms are acceptable. Continental crust carries land mass while oceanic crust carries ocean. The continental crust is made up of light materials like granite and it is less dense than the oceanic crust. Oceanic crust is thinner yet it has higher density because of its heavy materials like basalt. Going back to plate tectonics, it is mentioned earlier that the segments of the Earth's lithosphere move. As these segments move, 
trembling or shaking of the ground may be felt. This geologic event is what we call, earthquake. Earthquakes often occur and felt along the plate boundaries. Plate boundaries are the edges of every plate whether they are small or they are big. Plate boundaries may be called as plate separator or margin of each plate. Earthquake may be a very destructive geologic event that can cause great damages to properties or may leave numerous casualties. When a strong shaking of the ground happens buildings may collapse, road could be greatly damaged and many people can possibly injured and at worst, earthquakes may cause death. This road in Negros Oriental Philippines got broken into pieces when earthquake with a magnitude of 6.7 hit. There were 54 recorded injuries and 42 citizens lost their lives. The San Pedro Apostol Parish Church commonly known as Lobok Church in Boal Philippines was severely damaged after a 7.2 magnitude earthquake hit, last October 15, 2013. Last April 22, 2019, a magnitude 6.1 earthquake made 256 citizens injured and left three casualties in northern Philippines. Last 2019, the top two strongest earthquakes were recorded in the countries of Indonesia and the Philippines. This picture shows a collapsed building in North Maliuku, Indonesia after getting hit by an earthquake with 7.3 magnitude on July 14. The damages cost 87 billion Indonesian rupiah. This earthquake left 129 injured people and 13 recorded deaths. The picture below shows a road that split into two when a 5.8 magnitude hit Soraga del Sur, Philippines last 12th of July. This event left damages that cost around 7 million pesos. There were 63 recorded injuries. Whenever earthquake hits, scientists identify its origin which is called as the epicenter. The epicenter receives the highest seismic energy when trembling occurs. To locate the epicenter of an earthquake, scientists use the triangulation method. For this method be done, time information of the seismic waves is needed. Seismic waves release energy when earthquake occurs. There are three types of seismic waves. The primary waves or P waves, the secondary waves or S waves and the surface waves. P waves and S waves travel the Earth's interior while surface waves travel the surface of the Earth. P wave is the fastest kind of seismic wave and surface is the slowest one. We have a separate lesson on seismic waves that will give you a more detailed explanation. For the meantime, these flicks show how each kind of waves moves. Primary waves. Secondary waves and surface waves. Triangulation method is used to locate the epicenter of an earthquake. And this method goes this way. Triangulation method uses three seismic recording stations. Each station can tell how far from them the earthquake that occurred. Triangulation method uses distance information from the three seismic stations to identify the earthquake epicenter. Distance information is determined by using the time difference in the arrival time of P wave and S wave. After getting the distance information, circles are drawn around each seismic station on a map. The point where the three circles intersect is the location of the earthquake epicenter. In simpler words, the place where the three circles meet is the origin of an earthquake. It is true that earthquake could be really frightening. However, the best thing you can do before, during and even after an earthquake is not to panic. You should stay calm to keep your mind clear for you to think the next step that you will make. Here are some tips about what to do during an earthquake. Do the drop cover and hold on. This tip is quarterly practice in your school as simple but helpful preparation just in case an earthquake strikes. So, you should take your part seriously during your earthquake drills. Aside from the drop cover and hold, here are some things to remember during an earthquake. If you are caught on the road, it is best to stop the vehicle during an earthquake. If you are in a wheelchair, make sure that you put the brakes on in a safe place. Protect your head with your arms. If you are in a crowded area, seek for a strong table that can protect you. Don't forget to cover your head with your arms. 
If you are inside a building, avoid being near or under items that may fall or hit you. Go outside if possible but make sure that you are far from buildings, walls, and power poles. Seek and go for an open area if possible. And as I said, the most important thing is to calm down. You cannot think clearly if you panic. Those are the best questions I've heard today. When will earthquake strike again? And, where will it hit? Knowing where and when the next earthquake will hit is still impossible at our current technology. There is no formula nor equation that can tell the time and the place of the future earthquakes. Even how advanced science now, there is no invented instrument that can predict where and when the next earthquake strikes. Thus, the only thing that we can do is to get ready to do things we do not want to get ready for. Let me give you some tips on preparing yourselves just in case an earthquake suddenly hits. Preparing for an earthquake In the Philippines, we often heard the big one. The big one is the term used by the government pertaining to a very destructive trembling that can happen along the West Valley Fault. Before any disaster happens, plan with your family as early as possible. Have stock water and food that could be enough in every member of the family for at least 72 hours. Have your family go bag ready. Go bag should contain flashlight, whistle, first aid kit, food and water, clothes, important documents, portable radio and few important things that you think you will need. Talk with your family about a possible evacuation plan. This is the place where the members of the family will meet. No important hotlines or emergency numbers. Learn basic life-saving skills. You can attend first aid training. Check your house and furniture. Make sure that every corner of the house is stable and durable. These are just few tips. Can you think of more things to do as preparations for a possible earthquake? The Philippine government also prepares its citizens to the possible disastrous earthquake, the big one. Time to time earthquake drills happen simultaneously in schools, office, and community. Informercials giving reminders and tips about how to get ready for an earthquake strike are being aired on TVs, radios, and other social media platforms. Also, the Department of Science and Technology or DOST together with Philippine Institute of Volcano Logi and Seismology or FAVOLCS monitor volcanoes, earthquakes, and tsunami activities, and issue warnings as necessary. Yes, earthquake is quite dangerous. Many people feel scared just to think that an earthquake could happen any moment. However, don't you know that the numerous disasters due to earthquakes happened in the past have given us wonderful results? Can you believe this? These wonderful landscapes are results of many earthquakes. The Mount Fuji of Japan, Taurus Mountain of Turkey, Mount Pinatubo, and Mount Mayan of the Philippines. Again, these sceneries are formed because of many earthquakes. Do you want to know how? This will be parts of our future lessons. So what are you waiting for? Hit the notification bell now to get a ring about the latest uploaded lessons. Before we end our online class for today, let us have 5 simple questions. This is a true or false activity. Identify whether the statement is true or false. I will reveal all the answers after the fifth item. Number 1, plates move continuously. Number 2, plate tectonic theory says that some plates move and others do not. Number 3, the epicenter of an earthquake is the origin of an earthquake. Number 4, triangulation method is used to know where an earthquake will happen. Number 5, plate boundaries separate each plate from one another. Are you done answering? I will give you 10 more seconds before I reveal the answers. Let's now check your answers. Number 1, plates move continuously. The answer is true. For item number 2, plate tectonic theory says that some plates move and others do not. The answer is false. For item number 3, the epicenter of an earthquake is the origin of an earthquake. The answer is true. For number 4, 
triangulation method is used to know where an earthquake will happen? The answer is false. For the last number, number 5, plate boundaries separate each plate from one another. The answer is true. Did you answer the items correctly? Congratulations. I know you did well. Before we end this video, let's have Acts 1626, and suddenly there came a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison house were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were unfastened. That's all for today. Class dismissed.